Okay. So, uh, A to the cos X. Now, just as a, um, uh, a prologue, I think you are going to be mildly frustrated with yourself if you found this difficult, because all this is is chain rule, right? And it's actually not that hard for chain rule. Now, by this time, you guys have been doing chain rule for a long time, so you've probably got into the habit of skipping the um, let u equal blah blah blah, and you do the substitution, because you sort of do it in your head, right? That's fine when you're meeting something familiar. Right? It really would be a waste of time to let u equal the inside function and so on. But when you're meeting something that you're not that familiar with, um, it's worth it, and then you'll see how easy this actually is. Okay? So, what do you suggest I use as my substitution? What's my inside function? It's just, it's just cosine, right? So I'm going to say, let u equal cos x. Okay? So now, just think chain rule, okay? What does chain rule require you to do? First, uh, we'll differentiate the inside function, so u, so du on dx. Okay? Cos turns into minus sine. You've done the inside, now you've got to do the outside. Okay, so in order to do the outside, I need to rephrase it in terms of my substitution. Okay, so this is no longer a to the cos x, it's just uh, y is a to the u. Okay, so that looks weird, but if it was any other letter, like if it was x, a to the x, you guys know how to differentiate a to the x. Right? So if I differentiate a to the u with respect to u, Okay, this is just any old constant, right? Unfortunately, it's not e, so it makes it a little bit trickier, but not that much. It's just a to the u log a, right? Do you remember that? Which is why in the special case where it's e to the u, this part here becomes log e, which is why it just vanishes, because it's 1, okay? All right, so now chain. dy and dx, which is what I was after in the first place, is dy and du times du on dx, okay? And for this next line, I just want to put these in, but I might as well at the same time get rid of all the u's, right? Because there's only one left over, that u there. So I'll just sum it back for what it is. So this is minus sine x a to the cos x log a. It's never working. That's it. That's as, that's as simple as it gets. Okay. So I know we kind of, we kind of scoff at doing the full form of chain rule, like, oh, what a waste of time, that's what chain rule noobs, right? But it really helps if it's a function which uh, you haven't met before, but it's not really that hard. Like, it's, it's so few lines of work here, okay? You could even have skipped this line here and just gone straight there, okay? Um, that was